Welcome to our presentation about using the Open Inventor 3D software development tools for visualization of 2D and 3D well log data. Our goal is for you to leave this presentation knowing more about what is possible with Open Inventor and how you can create or improve your well logging visualization applications. This presentation is intended for application developers. It does assume some familiarity with the Open Inventor API. Here's what we'll be talking about today. After a short introduction of FEI and Open Inventor, we'll look at demos of 2D and 3D well log visualization, including some internal details about how to implement these visualizations using the features of Open Inventor. Founded in 1980, the FEI Visualization Sciences Group develops 3D visualization software both for programmers developing 3D applications and for engineers and scientists who need data visualization and analysis tools. Open Inventor's object-oriented API is designed to quickly integrate powerful new visualization, image processing, and analysis capabilities into software applications in a simple and consistent way. It provides comprehensive capabilities for interactive volume visualization, as well as blending, clipping, and editing, advanced 2D and 3D image processing, analysis, segmentation, and registration, and remote 3D interaction and visualization for web-based and mobile applications. We have hundreds of customers worldwide in many different markets, including oil and gas, medical, and engineering. A broad range of oil and gas software applications already use the Open Inventor 3D software tools. These applications span a range of disciplines from 3D seismic interpretation to reservoir modeling, simulation, and production. Let's start with a demo of well log visualization in 2D. In this example, we can see how Open Inventor can visualize hundreds of well logs at the same time. OpenGL acceleration using the GPU allows extremely fast pan and zoom even with very large real-time data sets. Open Inventor also provides state-of-the-art anti-aliasing to get high-quality rendering for lines, logs, and text. The quality and performance of anti-aliasing and other techniques can also be customized programmatically. This example also shows support for continuous picking Open Inventor allows the application to dynamically retrieve and display the measurement name and the value interactively as the user moves the mouse over the window. Let's take a look at how this demo was implemented. To see what's under the hood, you can press Shift F12 while your application is running. This opens Ivy Tune, what you might call the debugger for Open Inventor. IvyTune is an interactive tool that allows you to inspect the structure of the scene graph and even modify the properties of nodes in the scene graph. As you can see, an Open Inventor scene graph is organized in a tree structure that you can visit top-down in IvyTune. This tree structure makes it easy to organize the objects in the 3D scene in a logical and convenient way. Each well log is a scene graph that contains its own axis, and chart subscene graphs. When we add a well log to the display, we just make a copy of this scene graph and load the data for the new log. Open Inventor makes it easy to build reusable scene graphs for frequently used objects like the well log. We'll see in the next slide how the template scene graph for a 2D well log was implemented. Also notice that you can easily inspect the subscene graph representing any particular log by clicking in the Open Inventor window. IvyTune will highlight and display the selected node in its tree view. As you can see, this can be done interactively even with a very large scene graph. The goal for this project is to create a template scene graph for a single well log that will then be copied multiple times and populated with the actual measurements or with real-time measurements coming from the well sensors. 
As we can see here in IvyTune Viewer, the well log template has two parts, the axis and the chart. The axis part includes depth and measure axes and also the grid lines. These can be rendered using a high-level, ready-to-use node called PO Linear Axis, provided in the MeshViz extension. Two instances of PO Linear Axis are used, one for the depth axis and one for the measure axis. The high-level axis node has many options allowing its appearance to be customized. These options include the step size, the min and max range, and other aspects of the axis. The visualization is automatically updated in real time when these parameters are changed. Typically, this will be done dynamically based on the measurements coming from the field or in response to user interface settings. Some parts of the axis, such as the grid lines or the arrow, can also be optionally be hidden according to user requests. The chart is composed of one line curve and one filled curve. The template initially contains some temporary data that will be replaced when the template is added into the main scene graph or by real-time data coming from the well sensors. Data values are stored in smart containers called multi-value fields that are accessible from the application code, or the fields can be set to use data directly from the application's memory. The data value fields can be inspected and modified in IvyTune as well. As usual, any modification of the scene graph by the application or by IvyTune is immediately updated in the viewer. This includes the colors of the filled curve that are usually assigned using a color map. As you can see, any change we make causes the colors in the visualization to immediately be updated. For this project, we created the well log template scene graph in a text file using the Open Inventor file format. On the left, you can see the scene graph in a text editor, and on the right, the same file loaded inside IvyTune Viewer. The important data and property nodes in the scene graph are given names. This allows the application to easily access them in order to load data or change display options. For each node, the minimum number of fields is initialized leaving the other fields in their default state. For example, in the measure axis, the arrow and the tick are hidden, the step size is initialized to 2, the min-max range is initialized to 0 to 20, and so on. And of course, you can inspect and modify these values in IvyTune. In the chart, the SO line sets vertex property field is initialized with 200 vertices containing some default initial measurements. These will then be completely replaced by the application using the Open Inventor API. Building the template scene graph in a text file allowed it to be quickly modified during prototyping. This file could now be stored with the project as a resource file and shared with other projects independent of which language is being used to develop the application. Open Inventor supports development in C++, C Sharp, and Java. We'll now have a quick look at the C++ application code that adds one well log to the main scene graph. We begin by loading the template Open Inventor ASCII file that we looked at on the previous slide. Then we'll use an SO search action to get references to the measure axis and depth axis nodes. We're actually using a template here that conveniently wraps the SO search action. Now we can initialize the start end range and step size fields of those nodes. Also, the visibility of the labels is only activated for the first well log measurement. Then, the SO line set vertices are filled with data coming from application data structures containing the measurement values from the well sensors. Now let's look at a demo of 3D well log visualization. In the 3D example, we actually use two different techniques, 
The first, called the lathe display, uses a cylinder extruded along the well path. The color and the radius of the cylinder are defined by the measurements recorded along the well path. This technique can be used to display values from two measurements simultaneously. The second technique creates a 3D ribbon plot that follows the well path. In this case, we actually create a 2D well log chart similar to the previous discussion, and this chart is applied to the ribbon as a high resolution texture image. Here, the well path extending beyond the depth for which we have measurements is represented as a simple 3D cylinder. Now let's take a look at how the 3D demo is implemented. Once again, pressing Shift F12 will bring up Ivy Tune to show us the structure of the scene graph. In this case, the developer has chosen to have two levels of nesting in the structure, so we can see that the wells have been grouped in three clusters of ten wells each. For our 3D well log, we also created a 3D well log template scene graph, following the same design pattern as the 2D visualization development. The 3D template scene graph contains three entities, the well path, the well log lathe, and the well log ribbon. And as usual, you can click in the 3D window to inspect the entities in any specific part of the scene graph. The lathe well log visualization is really quite simple to implement in Open Inventor, so we can use the high level node SO Extrusion, which is able to extrude any 2D shape along a 3D well path, generating a triangulated surface including texture coordinates. The 2D circle to be extruded is stored in the cross section field. The coordinates of the well path are stored in the spine field and the radius of the shape at any given depth is optionally controlled by the values in the scale field. Any field can be modified dynamically with real-time data coming from well log sensors simply by modifying the fields of the SO extrusion node. As you can see, the visualization is updated dynamically. The 3D ribbon well log visualization is slightly more advanced. The ribbon geometry itself can be generated easily using another SO extrusion node, in this case extruding a 2D segment along the well path. However, this just gives us a gray ribbon surface. To generate the image of the 2D chart that should be displayed on the ribbon surface, we use an advanced node called SO Render to Texture Property. This node renders an open eventer scene graph into a 2D texture image. The rendering is done on the GPU in an off-screen buffer and automatically transferred into a GPU texture. In this case, the scene graph that is given to SO Render to Texture Property is a copy of the same template scene graph that we used for the 2D charting. As before, the fields of the data nodes are filled with the well log measurements coming from the well log sensors. In fact, the application can use exactly the same well log scene graph in both the 2D view and the 3D view. Because the scene graph for this log is shared between the two views, Open Eventer will automatically update the visualization in both views every time the well log measurements are updated in the scene graph. As you can see in the demo, when we change the data in the scene graph, the 2D and 3D views updates instantaneously. The well log visualization can be updated constantly with real-time data coming from sensors. In this example, we see 50 well logs being updated and visualized very smoothly. All the logs are being updated every 50 milliseconds in this example. Real-time update of the 3D visualization is possible as well, although at a slightly lower rate because of the high resolution textures used to represent the well logs on the ribbon plot. 
In this example, we see a field with 20 3D wells updated and visualized smoothly. All the well logs and textures are updated twice per second, and the frame rate remains very interactive. We've reached the end of our presentation. I hope you found it informative. You can find much more information about these features in the Open Inventor documentation at this URL. You can also download a trial use version to try it out for yourself. If there's anything at all we haven't covered, please ask us how Open Inventor can address the 3D visualization requirements of your next application. Thank you.